有是 ninety pounds。<laughs> One sec, okay, <laughs> okay, come on, athlete next. I want you guys to watch how he picked this weight up. What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve. I have BB Promise to tell like it is, guys. Welcome back to the episode of Coaching Up. Today, guys, we got another one with Athlean X. Anyway, before we get into this, guys, make sure you guys grab my ebook. The Ultimate Push Pull Legs Training ebook is out, available right now, guys. So go to my site, johnnyshreve.com, or check this link, or even go into the description below and click that link as well, too. Once you get the book, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, so be the first ones to get anything that I put out. Anyway, let's jump into this right now. We're gonna go back a little bit. I was looking for some stuff to coach you guys up on and, you know, what I can use from other athletes and coaches. In this case, Athlean X, and we're gonna go over the perfect chest workout 20 minutes, not one exercise or two exercises, but the whole damn workout in 20 minutes. All right, let's see what he's doing here. Let's see what we got. Let's go over it and see if we can optimize some of this or break it down a little simpler for you guys to understand. We've all been there, short on time, but still long on desire to not miss yet another workout. But what do you do? Do you skip it yet again or do you find a way to get the job done? So guys, just to give you guys some like advice here, if you're running out on time, and the most part for most people going to the gym right now, yes, they're trying to build muscle, but most part they're probably trying to lose fat as well too. As a lot of people hire me for the whole King Caboodle, diet, plan, nutrition, everything else. So a lot of us are really just trying to lose fat. So if, you have, if you're short on time and you know that you don't have enough time to actually get a full workout in and you got only 20 minutes, do cardio. That's gonna be your best bang for your buck. You're gonna burn like what? Chest workout in 20 minutes? I don't know, 50 calories? And then let's think about it like, are you really gonna stimulate enough growth? Like you're stimulating enough for you to actually build muscle within 20 minutes. Like how hard are you training in 20 minutes? And let's get into this. I haven't even started the damn video yet. Come on, Athlean X. All right, let's move on. Now I think we should start with two important caveats. The first is gonna be finding time to actually dedicate more time to training so you're not always in a pinch. So that's a good point he makes. It's like basically, listen, you shouldn't be in a pinch to train for 20 minutes. You've got a lot of time in your day where you can actually set out a good hour of your day, 45 minutes. You guys probably search Netflix or Crave or whatever for like 30, 40 minutes in the first, but trying to find a video for and watch damn video. So you definitely put in an hour, 40 minutes to an hour in the gym to some kind of exercise whatsoever. So good on you, Jeff, for saying that. Let's get back to 20 minute chest workout. And that brings me to my second important caveat here for this video, and that is one exercise you will not find in this workout is the barbell bench press. So good, it makes sense because it takes too much time to set the damn thing up. Using this technique, these short condensed 20 minute workouts are not conducive to maximizing strength. So it just makes the point there that the 20 minute exercise you're gonna do is not going to build muscle. So I'm not gonna sit there and be like, hey man, you can't build muscle in 20 minutes. He just said it. So this is definitely something more for conditioning. Just get yourself in there and train. Again, I'm gonna say, do something else other than do chest for 20 minutes. And so the journey into my brain begins here with our first exercise combination. Okay, so start our workout and it's with the cable crossover directly into so the basically doing like press. a superset so that makes the most sense anyway if you have 20 minutes is to do a bunch of supersets or drop sets or giant sets okay so we're gonna do a cable crossover for pre-exhaust i'm actually gonna do some of this right now we got a cable crossover let's go with the cable crossover right now and see how we can go Okay, so we are at the cable crossover in here. He has the handles a little bit lower, so we're gonna drop it down here a bit. We're gonna put on a decent amount of weight, and we got cable crossover, so. We don't want that to happen. We have a limited amount of time, and we wanna drive as much tension into the chest as possible. Okay, so the shoulder does do basically shoulder reduction. It's all this muscle here is attached to your shoulder here and pulls your arm in this way. Now you can see how I pulled my arm in the entire way. Now if I do this more, you're not really doing anything else. It's just, it's just there, right? There's no more pec activation past this part. So doing a cable crossover when you're here and then crossing, you're not doing much. Especially you're almost like taking a break. So what you wanna do is, when you're from the top here, chest up, pushing through, and then straightening over your arms and pushing and extending your chest back and putting more pressure into your chest. And then pulling the weight back and then pressing again. This is pointless. I don't feel any more on my chest doing this. From here and push straight. Chest is up, heads up. And I don't have to go any further than this. And I got a crazy pump already on my chest. All right, now we're gonna go so we from this. With this exercise. Now, one of the limitations of this exercise is if you go too heavy, it becomes a bit of a core challenge, but we don't have to go heavy here. If you do go pretty heavy, that's completely fine. Guess what, you're working your core, more bang for your buck. And you should be working your core in the first place anyway. We know when we head into the All right. we do this, fight for every So again, 
you're just looking at form wise, even your boy, Athenex is still a little off on it, right? I want to fill the whole load into my chest, not my shoulders, not my back, but my chest. Now you can see he's lean. You see a lot more of him actually showing up. He can move anywhere and you'll see his chest move. Either way for you, for range of motion, there's no point of going across. Now from here, we're going to go into, you go over here. So we're doing 10 to 12 reps of each of these, and then we're doing barbell static press. Okay. And it's a great way Scrabble's to intensify pretty easy there. the traditional dumbbell bench press. And remember, if we're training in that second. time, we have to up the intensity. This for sure will line. do the job. Okay, so we got barbell static press, meaning one. Okay, so you're going unilateral. That means one side is going when the other side is not, but he's keeping the one side already down in a loaded position. And this is, yo, this is 90 pounds? <laughs> Hold on a sec, okay. <laughs> okay, come on, athlete next. I want you guys to watch how he picked this weight up. Okay? Athlete next is probably about 50 pounds smaller than I am. All right? Look how easy that weight's going up. I'm gonna go do this weight right now and show you what 90 pounds looks like. Follow me, please. All right. 90 pounds. I want you to remember how you picked them up. This is 90 pounds. Oops, sorry. Is this. And even if it's this, and then this, and come back down, and then pump this one up, and then come back down, and like this, this. There's no need to use fake weights. And anybody wants to argue that and tell me that Athenex is as strong as I am, not warmed up after pre-exhausting his chest on flies, like come on. He can easily put on like 40 pounds and demonstrate 40 pounds or 50 or even 60. But like, I just did this. It's hard as shit. Anyway, so you're doing basically 10 reps, 10 to 12 reps, cable crossover, five reps, so five reps each arm on a static press. And then we're getting to that would bring us to a combination that leads to 6 minutes and 15 seconds of total elapsed workout time. Now a note on that rest, 60 seconds. So 60 second rest from both of these movements. I'd like to get at least 90 seconds. You can see here in the second set of the static press, I'm okay with dropping the weight down. Remember your muscles don't understand He dropped the weight numbers. down to 80. Weak. They just feel. I'm just, just, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but that whole rack is 100% that whole rack is full of weights that are not exactly what that is right there. You, like you just saw me pick up the 90s. He just dropped down to 80 and he's lifting the exact same way he did before. If you can keep the tension high by forgetting about the number of reps and instead making each one of those reps count. So basically keep doing this and just don't basically stop. Don't worry about how much weight that's there. Just burn as much as you can. Just get as fatigued as much as you possibly can. And that brings us right into our second exercise of this workout. Incline dumbbell, three times form the failure. You're still on the same bench you were just All using. Right. Just prop it up here. So on the same bench, and we're doing incline. Still on the heavier side for me, accounting for the mounting fatigue here. I'm not trying to just sacrifice. All right, we're on this. Okay, those are 75 pounds. Okay, do an incline. Now, this is the, was, wasn't supposed to be a video they call them out, but when I see this kind of shit, kind of gets annoying. Because when you see me do like, you know, any kind of like demonstrating, I don't pick the heaviest weight, I don't need to. And I obviously can. And I obviously can pick up any weight I want and say exactly what it is, or I can lie about it, and you'll believe it, because I'm big, and I can do that. What's the point of this? Anyway, so we're gonna go to incline press, we're gonna grab the 75s, and do this. Incline press is already there. Here's the 75s, I want you guys to watch how I pick the 75s up. So, a little more manageable. And we're going to press. And we're just gonna regular press. Now again, pressing our back, making sure our back is flat on the bench, stack these joints, 
pushing up, opening up, and push. And push yourself into the ground when you press. Keep your chest high and your lower back flat on the bench, not sticking up like this, because then you change the trajectory of where the wave is actually going, right? So we want to keep it down and press. Anyway, he's actually keeping things within parameters of actually, you know, having proper sets to stimulate muscle growth. You know, 30 to 45 second sets, that's actually good. Again, the problem is you're not getting much done in 20 minutes, right? If you're trying to like, you know, maximize your time and to change your physique as much as you can in the most optimal way and you only get 20 minutes, you're not burning that many calories because you take those breaks in between. Or than being on like, I don't know, a treadmill or an elliptical or a stepper and knowing that, you know, the level is at X and your heart rate staying at this the entire time without holding on, you're gonna use your time a lot more than actually doing a 20 minute workout. When most of you guys are probably gonna be like, this sucks. And not be able to actually put in everything because the first 10 minutes of your workout is gonna be extremely hard and the next 10 minutes is gonna be extremely whack, basically. Sorry, but let's be serious. Three individual sets here. We've now got a total elapsed workout time of 11.15. 11 minutes to work out after doing these exercises. Which brings us to our third exercise, which is actually another combination of body weight dip right into a band assisted dip. I can tell you now, the dude looks really good. I mean, I'm trying to look like that when I'm his age. 100%. Start with weight and drop down to a body weight. But for me and for most people, we're probably going to be able to start with body weight only and then drop down. To good. Assisted okay. Dip. So form really good. Tight, everything's moving where it should stack at the joints, really working his chest with a little bit of a forward lean. So good movement, what he's doing. And then he's gonna use bands to help assist. And there you go, I've got an assisted dip without much rest in between. So basically doing like a four scraps with like bands after that. So again, honestly, like if you can take this whole exercise and put it within an hour, yes, it's really good. Now the moves that he's doing when he sticks to the parameters of actually like gaining muscle, building muscle, stimulating muscle growth, whatever it is, the sets and reps all make complete sense. It's just the time you actually have to be optimal for you to do anything more than just get your heart rate up. Because if you're trying to like stimulate muscle growth, you need more time in a sense. So if you were gonna do that, if anything, I would have just taken one exercise or just supersetted the first two exercises over and over and over and over again, and you would get somewhat a little more, I don't know, stimulus from that than what he's doing. But again, I'm doing cardiff at 20 minutes. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what he said in the beginning is the most important anyway. You should be able to take out at least 45 minutes to an hour of your day to do some kind of resistance training or cardio, whatever it is, be active. That's the most important part of this. If you find yourself with a 20-minute time crunch, you have to figure it out. And if you have some problem figuring that out, get my ebook because I got a plan there for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. So grab my ebook right now. The ultimate push-pull legs training ebook is out right now. Go to my site, johnachieve.com. And anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, we come out with that tell like it is transparent, vulnerable truth. And for coaching, johnnyshreve.com, guys. If you guys want to know about coaching, book a phone console 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of that console, if you want to go with coaching, whether it's a one time plan or ongoing coaching, I deduct the console off any package that you pick, except for the ebook. Use my code johnny15 for 50% off the Power 13 cookbook. Also, use my code johnny30 for 30% off. Get check, let's get check.com. Let's get check, check your hormones, check your blood work. See what's going on on the inside. Make sure you are healthy on the inside before worrying about how good we look on the outside. And anyway, guys, use my code Johnny for 50% off fitarmy.com. Also guys, send me some of your progress pics, your foodie pics, some video clips, whatever it is guys. I'll repost a few, because you know how it is. Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep gym chasing. Peace. All right, we're on, warmed up, ready to go. Just miss that. The push pull legs, ultimate. What is that? The ultimate. If you did, hope you guys. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what he said. But...